Mr. Carey. But first, to the master of the conundrum, the riddle me re whose books lay down such a labyrinthine trail of clues and red herrings. Only a combination of Miss Marple, Sherlock Holmes and Hercule Poirot could solve them. His first book, Masquerade, involved a diamond and crusted hair, and the latest is the search for a title to a beautifully illustrated volume with bees on the cover. We have five finalists with us tonight from whom will be chosen the winner of the competition. So we'd better have the man himself to explain it to us, Kit Williams. <laughs> Before, before we get on to all the paraphernalia that surrounds your book on bees, how did you get the, the idea for Masquerade, first of all? I, I'm really a painter. I, I was not interested in books at all. A publisher came to me and said, do something new with books no one's ever done before. An entirely original on. idea. <laughs> did it work out as you had hoped? Uh, it just went berserk. I mean, I thought it would be quite a quiet thing. and it would be <laughs> yeah. Millions of people and all over the world and everything. No, no, it, it, it got out of sight. So you were astounded at the, su at the success of it? I was it. indeed, yeah. Was it, because I remember there was a bit of a kerfuffle about the digging up of it when it was Ooh, finally yeah. dug up. But what, was that a bit of an anticlimax itself? Well, it, it, it was exciting for me because the man said he wouldn't appear on television and all this sort of thing, you know, and I think media and they all say that I'm a hoax. But it was his dog that, that <laughs> dug oh, it yeah, up yeah, anyway. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. got it almost by mistake. He, he sort of guessed it. How how long did it take before the golden hair was discovered? Because I thought for one time that ne thing was never going About to be found. two and a half years. Did you ever begin to think, they're never going to find me golden hair? I thought that until I started getting... I had 30,000 letters, and some of the things that people sent in were so much better than the real answer. I thought someone was going to find it one day. Mm. So <laughs> what's happened to the hair since? The man's got it. I think he's put it up for a prize in a computer game. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't take it hard. <laughs> no, no, computer. Why nice the thing. book on bees? Well, uh, because people sent people didn't send me letters for the first book. They sent me all sorts of things, great long poems and pullovers mm. and all sorts. And I thought it'd be nice if I can get people to do things and send them to me. Mm. And so I just uh, the bees. I just keep bees. And I thought, oh, it'd be nice to use the bees. And once I started doing the book, and I thought, what I need is to, for people to find something. It's ever so simple. So as anybody who wants to be able to work it out can work it out, but then they have to send it to me without using the written words, so they have to make something in some way. And uh, You have a very devious mind, <laughs> and I'm not <laughs> sure it was all that simple, because I've, I've had the book, and it was just hidden animals, and you were using the first letter, and you were making an acrostic little puzzle at the end from it. And then they had to, the winners, ha having got the answer, then had to make some kind of artefact or representation. Something, yes. Without, yeah. I mean, people have sent tapes, people have sent computer discs, I have had about 3,000 things. I've been ripping open parcels every day this week. Mm. It's, it's just been polystyrene balls. I mean, that's, my <laughs> life has been that for, for the back, last week. We're back to the Brussels sprouts again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, do have, <clears throat> we do have five finalists, or five of the, of the finest Some contributors. Some of the super things, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in the audience, we've got Terry Short and Jill Hutter and Graham Dowding, Steve Pearce. So we congratulate them on getting to this stage. They're down in the audience in the front row. Are <laughs> <laughs> these are the artifacts of his name? Some of them, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. We'll, we'll start on this one. Now, we won't give away what the title is yet until the no, very last, until, no. we, until you no. announce the winner. So this is a... This is a piece of stained glass. It must have taken months to do. I do stained glass. I know each one of these little pieces has to be drawn and then put in a kiln and then it goes wrong and then you've got to do it again yeah. before you make the whole thing. Look at that, wonderful. To represent the title and the title yeah. is there somewhere. I'll be yeah. asking questions of the audience later to see if they can tell <laughs> us what the title is. What about this one? This one? You have to turn the handle. Turn it, keep turning and the cock crows. See him crow. Now watch the sun, watch the sun. There! Oh, it's isn't incredibly that wonderful? clever, isn't it? Yeah. And that's, this is the prize, of That's course, the prize. Right? What's this, this one's especially for you. Get, get away, by the way. Ready? How about that? Ingenuity. You don't know who sent that one. Well, no, it's got a name or something. I'm not allowed to hand it to people here. Here, here, here. Yeah. And this one here. This one, uh, you turn the handle and the cock crows. And a bee goes across and touches it. And all the that. little animals swarm Wonderful. around. Wonderful. And we've got it, something that looks like a... Yeah, that's a big box. Take the lid off that right. whilst I pop this over here. Superannuated... Um, I'll take the lid off. Yeah. Right. Oh. What's that? Oh, oh no, that's... That, that's some, this one keeps going off. I don't know. Someone sent it in. I don't know what it is. Lots, lots of things. <laughs> just think you're losing control. <laughs> Inside here, yeah. there's 
Do you keep going? Oh, lots and lots of pieces. There were some pieces I couldn't get in. They fooled me. There was one piece that there was a box, and on top was two bees. And I started to open it, and I couldn't open it. I lifted up the two bees, and I was on my back. Electric shock. And then there's a little letter. It said, <laughs> if, if you can't do it properly, you'll get electric shock. <laughs> <laughs> a bee on yes. a honeycomb, and little, Look at that. little things, all oh, paintings and everything. Marvellous work. Wonderful. Marvellous marketry work and everything. Terrific. Yeah. Right. You certainly brought out the artistic in your competitors. Now, how do I put this one back on again? Oh, let's put some bits. Yeah. By, oh, I, I don't know. Yeah. See, it's very complicated. Some of them are incredibly complicated. Just yeah. put it on top for the meantime. Yes. Look, oh. little things like that. Look. That's <laughs> it. Hey, wonderful. You didn't know about this. this is... What about this? What? <laughs> <laughs> I've got Paul Daniels in here. Look. <laughs> <laughs> and what about this lady here? This lady, look, look, this That's is an answer that she sent in. Wendy Guilford. It's a, it's a wedding dress and you've got it, got it embroidered specially. Painted, hand-painted. Hand-painted. Yes. And it's, it's correct, it's a correct answer. And that's the correct title. And she was married in it. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> that's beautiful. Now, this is... That's, the, that's the, what you the win. The first the prize <laughs> with the beautifully encrusted, which you made yeah, yourself. Yeah, just take this out. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what's that semi-precious stone in there? That's not semi-precious. That is a precious, precious opal it's that cost me £2,000. Now, that's all sorts Pure of gold. diamonds and rubies. Yeah, sapphires, garnet, salon. And if you take that off, you will reveal what the title is. That's right. But first of all, you have to tell us who the winner is. The man who made this. What's his name? His name is Mr Pierce. Can we have Mr Pierce to join us, please? Steve. Steve. Steve Pierce. Now, what from what you saw in the audience, did you work out what the title of the book should be? No. <laughs> we get the we get the cream of the crop in here. <laughs> All right, right. This is the moment. All will be revealed. That's your winning your that's, winning that's entry. It. There's a little gold wire. Because you wire. couldn't there's write the words snips. down. Oh, but this is the prize oh, that you won. Gold wire. Steve. Cut it. Careful of the fingers. Yeah, not. We'd hate to it, lose you it. at this stage. Right. This is it. I hope this. Put works. it in your pocket. That's gold. That's worth something. Right. I'll mind it. I look after it for you, Steve. Ready? Here we go. There's the book. Yes. Right. So we put that to one side for the moment. Put a title on it. Now, quickly, little clips here, little clips there. This it's bit, a wonderful way to write a book. This. This bit opens out like yeah. this. Yeah. Oh, put that on there. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. Where's my little screwdriver? I don't know. Undo this bit there. <laughs> this undo. is going to be a great prize when you get it. Yes. Yeah. Undo this bit. Don't there. hold your breath. That bit. There. It should come undone. Hopefully. There. We've got tasn't, it. Tasn't. Here it comes. You can't expect everything to work first time. So, that, that's supposed to come off. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Would you, in the interim... No, it's not going to come off. Would you, in the interim, like to tell us, Kit, what the title of the book is? <laughs> it's The Bee on the Comb. The Bee on the Comb, and, and Steve and is the one who's won it. There Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Should, it, should it come off? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's wonderful to see the prize presented here on the program now. A pause in our hectic endeavour for some uplifting music. Our guests you may not have seen before, they're certainly new to me. Their song is entitled Johnny Come Home. They rejoice in the title of Fine Young Cannibals.